Hello everybody, welcome back to Minecraft, where today we're going to be doing a little bit more interior decorating down in the dome zone. Alright, so it's been a while. And... Trying to, okay, so we need... What was it? It was the... I know it was something from the Metallurgy mod. What was it? Oh wait, I can just... Okay, so we need a crusher, which we should be able to make, or I could make a... Actually, I could just take the crusher from over there. Or I could make another one, because, I mean, really, let's just be real. It's probably more efficient to have multiple. Actually, I could make a double crusher. No, let's go with that. It's going to make a few crushers. It's going to get set up there. And first, let's take some of that cobble. Alright, so that's still going up there. Alright, so... Oh, there's a shiny magic harp apparently. I'm going to try to catch this. Alright, where are you, buddy? So I already have a shiny Gyarados, but I mean, it's a shiny. You can either catch it or try to kill it. Level 6. Let me give it three Pokeballs. Actually, I could have kind of a magic harp pond in the dome zone. So what Pokemon do I have that can actually hit it? Actually, Aerodactyl could probably hit it since it's level 1. Oh, I used something. Okay. I should not be clicking that fast. Luckily, Ancient Power doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. Alright, so... We should hopefully catch this, and... Alright, nope. I'm also going to try to make a Pokeball Factory uh, compact device. So that should be an interesting thing. Why is it breaking out so much? Okay, I'm going to try to hit it with one more. If it dies, it's not a big deal. It's just one of those things that I kind of want. <laughs> And broke free again. My goodness. Resilient little thing. Oh, wait, it's because I'm using a lower level Mon, isn't it? If it doesn't catch this time, I'm going to swap. Oh, there you go. Alright. So let's get out of here. Oh, that's not in their pocket. <laughs> so that is another shiny added to the list, which is nice. Alrighty. Now we were working on the crusher, that's right. So let's head on in and see how much iron and stuff we got. So we're definitely going to need lots of it. I should also start moving some of the crafting utensils into the new place. So we need iron, black quartz, we also need redstone. What else do we need? For a crusher, we need flint, cobble. And sticks. Then I think, yeah, we can make, uh, fuse two of them together to make a double crusher. And I want to make two of those, so we're going to need a lot of stuff. So grab the sticks. Uh, what else am I missing? Let me check again. Flint. Luckily, we have tons of that. Oh, and we have a few of the advanced coils left. Nice. Actually, do we have any. We do have redstonia crystals. Alright. I don't know why I'm hopping away. Let's go ahead and craft this thing. So, crusher we need. Actually, I should probably check and make sure we don't have any metal casings before I start making some. Do a look through. Does not look like we have any. Unless I'm just blind and can't see them. We got some of the wooden ones there. Yeah, I think we used all of our metal ones. So let's go on ahead and... I'm fairly sure, yeah, I can just click on one of those. So since we're going to be needing five total of these, let's go on and just do all this. And I think I got enough for everything. Yep. Because I need four to make four of those. Oh, wait, no, I needed six. Because I also need another one there, so... One more black quartz in there. Boom. Alright, let's 
pull all those out of there. And the basic coils. Since we're going to need a lot of those, let's go ahead and make as many as we can, which is not even enough for a full double crusher. Okay. So we need to go and make some more red stania, which is easy. We just need to use this redstone, which is actually the whole reason I brought it out for. So let's... Oh, it's just a cloud. Okay. I was very concerned that the solar powers just weren't getting any power there. Alright, and pop. Nice. That should be enough for a while, so let's head on back down and continue the crafting tree. So we need enough of those. Nope, not the Pokeballs. Let's swap those around. May as well make a butt ton. Alright, so that should be everything we need for the basic crushers. So we're going to need four of them. I'm going to put all this there. And basically all that's left the cobble. Alright, so one, two, three, four. Awesome. Then we just need to add everything together once again. And then we should have two lovely double crushers. Should make for processing ores a lot simpler. And let's grab one of those coal generators. I think I have one in here somewhere. Okay, nope. Guess not, so let's go on ahead and head up, because I know I've got one in the chest over here. Somewhere. Yep, you got four of them. Oh, uh, those were for that. Okay. I'll, I'll leave those there and just make another. So this is going to be all for processing out ores easier. Alright. Where is... There you go. Coal generator. So we need one more of the metal frames. And some coal. Alright, since we're only going to need one, really, for the both of them, though, honestly, it would probably be better to have a couple. Yeah. We can add more in later, once we get everything all settled in. Let's go ahead and get all this dropped into there, all this dropped into there, then let's go down to get this all set up down in the dome zone. It's that button to do that. Ah, alright, so where was the mining zone? This was the mining zone, and I made it just an offshoot of the mining zone, which was over here, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Alright, so there's the forge. There's the lava maker over here. There's the tool area, so since the forge is going to be over here, I'm going to go ahead and put the two crushers over here. What was that? Hmm. Well, actually, let's move this around a little bit. I feel like it should be flush against this wall over here, since this is going to be, like, I guess basically a tool. Alright, so now we just need a lava bucket to power that up, so let's make the lava maker here today as well. We need a lava factory controller, so we need empowered a nori. Which means I need to put back down those other things. Okay. So, let's head back up and reclaim these. This is all going to be put back to work here. And I'm definitely going to need a few more buckets. So, let's head on down here, and nab up a few of the buckets. I am not touching that boss. That boss is going to absolutely murderize the entire team. And the Slowpoke uh, decides it wants to fight me, either way. Uh, I don't I don't actually have anything that's better against this than right now, so let's just uh, take this thing out. Actually... We haven't caught it. May as well try to catch it yet. Well, catch it now. 
Because I do want to try to complete the Pokedex before ending off the series. Because I don't want it to just be a series that ends at the Ender Dragon. Alright, so let's try to catch this. And... Okay, nope. Well, this sucks. Why isn't it catching? <laughs> Everything just wants to be very non-cooperative today. Maybe I should try making some Great Balls. Alright, there we go. So, I need the buckets. Where are they? Oh, are they still up in here? Where did I put all the buckets? Hmm. Oh, wait, did I bring the buckets up there? Well, no matter. Should probably try to make some if I don't have enough. Did I bring them up here? Hmm. I actually have no idea where the buckets went. Which actually kind of scares me there. <laughs> so... I guess in that case, we're going to need to find and or remake the buckets. Could have put them in tools, couldn't I have? All right. Oh, yep, they're all right here. Don't know why I put them right there, but hey. I should be able to go in and collect from the little lava puddle that's down here. Don't remember where I made the opening for it, though. Is it over here? I guess it was. Hello, hello. Oh, hey, I left some iron down here. And collect all that, and... Of course, Latias is here, because it decides... Yes, it wants to be here. I'm not going to try to catch it until I have an Ultra Ball. Alright, so let's hop out of the water there. Hello there, good friend. Alright, so, now that we've got all the lava, let's head down to Dome Zone. And find out which way I decided to make the lab. I think it was down this way somewhere. Well, first of all, we've got a few crops that need... Alright, apparently, uh, I didn't get to replant that one. So are these... Nope, not, none of those ones are ready. I'm not sure what mod did it, but apparently I can... Oh, wait, no. Apparently with these ones I can just right-click them to harvest them. It's kind of nice. Alright, so let's take a peek at what the sign is. Okay, so this is the additions lab. So let's put down the empower over here. And display stands there. 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 And there. And then I just gotta get all these powered. So, may as well do a little bit of this. Because, why not? Alright, get that powering. That powering. That. And this. Alright. So, now, I need the empowered Nori. So, what do I need for that? Snowball, Button, Cobble, and Gray. Okay. That's easily doable. Let's head back up and grab a few blocks. Because I only need one of the Lava Factory controllers. Which means I need two blocks. Alright. As I mess up going down the ladder. So let's... Snowball, Gray Die... We should have buttons and cobblestone just all over the place. So we need a Nori blocks. Which I don't have. I have enough Nori to make a block. So I need two more iron ingots to Nori. So let's go ahead and get those set and done. Should be easy because again, just doing a little bit of this. And pop. Alright. So now... Because I completely forgot that I actually had this on me at all. 
Oh wait, no. They're not going for seven. Nine. It means two more. Alright, yeah. Which means I just need to grab two more iron ingots. And also, for those wondering how I'm going to make the Pokeball Factory, I'm going to make it so that way it only takes like certain items, and it's going to have like a crafting table and all that inside and be able to cook those apricorns inside of the, uh, whatchamacallit, like inside of the little block. So that should be pretty interesting to make. I'm going to try to make that probably next episode, I want to say. But then again, with the pace we're going with this episode, I may get it done today. So dome zone. Let's come on through and check on the crops. I should have a, uh, whatchamacallit, a few of the chunk loaders around the place in here. Because things like this and the lava thing might need a little bit more chunk loading than, well, anything else. So, great eye. Yep, that's in there. Snowball. Button. And... Cobblestone. So that'll do that. Now I gotta go in and put in another Anori. First, I'm gonna starve to death, so I'm gonna eat something. I don't know where that creeper is, but it's freaking me out. Alright, so... Once that is done... It'll take a minute. There we go. Oh, not what I wanted there. Alright, so there's the Empowered Anori. Let's go on ahead and do that, that, uh, this, and uh, that. Alright, so that should be all the empowered Anori that we need for the Lava Factory. We do need casings, though, so let me make sure I know how to make those. Case. Oh, right here. Okay, so we just need two more Nori crystal blocks, which shouldn't be difficult. Where is that Enderman? Oh, no matter. We've got this, and now let's Enderman back to base and get all this fixed up. So I just gotta turn two more iron blocks into a Nori blocks, because we need that. <laughs> so... Once we get all this set up, I'm also going to need to move the pump from the nether. So that we can have our nice lava farm back here in the comfort of our own home. Oh, I should have also checked the, uh, the loading chunks as well. Okay, so. What else do we need? I think... I think we're fine for just about making everything. So I need another set of iron casings. So I'm gonna need to use some wood, which we don't, no we do have, okay, good. So let's go and make a whole bunch of those, take out some of those, this, and some gold. Now I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in there. Alright, so, I should also put away the empowering materials, because I don't need those right now. Gonna dump those away in there. So we need to turn these into some of the better ones. Alright, we have just enough of the coils. I need to make one more thing of gold nuggets. Alright, so there's that. Just need one of these. We're missing the iron and the black quartz. Alright, so that should be everything for that. And then I just need to make another iron casing for... Did it not craft? Oh, no, I didn't. Alright, so lava factory controller. And casing, we need one more of these. Oh, wait, I don't need that. I need... 
Oh. Whoops. So now we need to make that. So then I need probably another one of those other things, but first things first, let's go ahead and get this all set up down in the base. Because once we get this set up, we should have infinite lava for the foreseeable future. Especially if I make it powered off of canola instead of off of lava and all that. But it would be more efficient to use lava. So, lava maker. I'm going to go ahead and put it right here. So, I'm going to use the sign here to make the casing for it. Alright. Okay, now we can remove that. So now it can produce lava. Hmm. I should make a ladder up to there so I can actually hop on top of it and start working on the other stuff that we gotta work on. So let's head back here to ship shape. And probably try to find some ladders quickly. I got rails, I got glass, what else do I got? Okay. And I'll just make some like that. And let's head on down. So once we get this set up, all we'll need is a power source and a way to, well, obtain the lava swiftly. And that should be just about it. So let's make this up to here. Because the lava will spawn right here, where I'm standing. Making it very dangerous to stand there. So I'm going to make this up here. And I'm going to put the pump from the nether above this. And then have a tank over here for all the lava stuff. That sounds pretty good. So... If I want to make a canola thing, canola, here we go. So we need a press, and then we need to distill it to make it refined. I should say, yeah, fermenting barrel. So, we need to, first of all, make a canola press. So we already have a couple canolas to put into it. And I'm not exactly sure just how efficient this will be. So I'm also probably going to put a like actual forge thing on the side of it. Because we're definitely going to run out of canolas here eventually. But basically, have got to put this in there. And then stuff from there goes into another tank. Which then goes into the generator. It should be... Well, at least it's renewable. Not sure about how efficient or any of that it'll be, so... Meh. <laughs> Let's... Try to find out what exactly we need now. Because we need the press. I don't think the press needs power, does it? Oh, wait, no, the po the press did need power. So let's just go with the, with the fern eye. So, I need more of the metal casings, because we do. Need more of that. And we are officially out of that. Need more sticks. Okay, so... I guess we should probably take a quick trip over to the... Uh, what was it? I know I had one over at a birch forest. Or was it? We got Flower Forest Base. Haven't seen this place in a little while. Let's hope everything's doing good over here. Looking nice as always. So, let's go ahead and chop down some of this oak tree. Wow, this axe is doing nice. Chop that down. Gotta make sure to replant. 
so that we don't just completely run out of trees in the future. Alright. So with all of that, I'm going to come over here and check and see what this raid is. It is an Oddish. Okay, well I'm going to leave that there. Alrighty, so. There's a nursery somewhere. That's over there. I'm going to see if we can catch it quickly. Nursery level 13. Let's hope you survive Razor Shell. Nope, that killed it. Okay. Oh, that was to be expected. Okay, so. Let's hop back down. Actually, we don't even have to. I could just TP back. So, ship shape, so we can continue our crafting spree. So we're going to need a few more of the iron casings. So I'm going to try to make two of the coal generators before like, moving on to actually use them. Alright, so that should be enough sticks. And then pop down all these. And boom. I did put this on my list, right? No, I didn't. So I'll just go ahead and add that there. And missing everything else. I have coal blocks, which I'll just turn into coal here. And do a little bit of that. Toss these back. And grab out some cobble. And... Where was it? There I go. Coal generator. So that's one, and that's two. Nice. So now, we're going to need to head back down to the Okay, so, after fiddling with my recording software, for some reason it had, it had frozen and crashed mid-recording, so I lost a little bit of footage, but not enough to go ahead and start, well, crying about it. I mean may have lost the entirety of me putting in the, the uh, coal generators and my explanation as to why I was doing this beforehand, but basically we're making a pump before I actually turn on the generators so that way we can just start catching the lava immediately. I don't know why my software froze like that, but I'm going to try to get this done ASAP before it crashes again. So, now that we've made a gear mold, how much did it need? Let me check. It will not tell me, so I'm going to try it with, uh, actually no, it should tell me here. So it needs four ingots. Three, four, alright. So once we get this all done, we should be able to just put in a pump for an infinite lava generator. This one is a good lava generator, but is not infinite. So, I wanted to make an infinite one that we could have in the comfort of our own home. So, that is the whole reason I'm doing all this. I'm not sure how much of that was actually caught in the previous recording thing. I'm just happy I caught it before I actually started doing some of the crazier stuff that I was planning on doing. So, yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and pour that out here. That should be enough. I didn't realize we had so many blocks of iron in here. Okay. So once we pick this up, should be good to go. As far as making another... Uh, yeah, making another pump. Alright, so let's head back to the overworld. I don't know why everything happened the way it happened, but it did, so let's just stick with that. Nothing all too eventful happened within the lost time, but... There's skeletons in the base? Yes, there is. Okay. Why are you in here? Let me hit you. No. Okay. You need to die. Thank you. Was the torch that I broke? It was right there. I don't know why they're spawning in here. I'm 
Okay, so I need to dump some materials quickly before my computer decides that that's enough Minecraft for today. Right, to put that away. Gotta put this away. Oh, and some of this. Don't need any more glass for right now. Alright, so let's grab the redstone that we need. Make this pump. And I don't... Does this thing need redstone to power? I'm not sure. I should probably get that just in case it does. Yeah, it does. I remember now. So yes, it does. We need some more of the glass, some more redstone, got iron, cobble wood. So that lets us make the piston. There's this. Boom. And we just need some of these. Need some of these. So let's make a few. Boom, 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 boom. Alright. So that is that there. I'm trying to speedrun this now. Oh, speaking of which, I was thinking about trying to attempt a few Minecraft speedruns, maybe uh, eventually soon. <laughs> I know that's not very, like, a definite thing, but it, it has a thing, like, it has been a thing that's fascinated me ever since I started watching some. I mean, speedrunners just do awesome at this game. So let me see what I needed for the... Here you go. Golden transport pipes, and then I needed some pipe sealant. I need to dump these arrows that I got from those stupid skeletons. Oh, what else do I not need right now? I don't need the ladders. Or the signs that I've been breaking. Okay. So... So I think it's just about everything we need. We've got the lever, redstone pump. Oh, that's right. We still need to make these waterproof. So where are my cacti? Here we go. I just realized we haven't really made a cacti farm yet. We should really start on that. Oh, that's right. I had to cook it up and turn it into cactus green. Actually, no. I could just make it out of slime balls. That's right. So let's go ahead and do that, so that we don't have to waste our cactus. So let's make eight of these, just so I can have enough to make all of these into fluid pipes. Gonna put back the slime balls. And put away this, this, this. I don't think I can make pumps out of the clear glass. So let's or the tank, sorry. So let's go ahead and get some tanks started by coming up here and starting the smelting of a stack of this. Powered furnace, you're going to take all that. Shouldn't do anything here because it's not part of this. So it should just collect up there. Okay. That is good. Let's go ahead and go to sleep. And then we'll go ahead and get the tanks all set up. Back down to dome zone. I'm not mistaken, it's actually the other way because I messed up that direction. Alright. I really hope that there's no monsters that spawn in the actual kind of globe areas here. That would make it very, very annoying to deal with. So, let's get this set up. So it needs to be a decent distance up so I can actually get a view on this. I should not have tossed those blocks away. Alright, back up here to ship shape. And... I'm not going to be using any of those blocks because those are just the fall down blocks. Well, let's move these a block down so things can't spawn right here. Alright, so... Let's just grab, uh, I don't know, some diorite. It doesn't need to be the best block for this, it just needs to be a block. 
So let's head in here again. So next episode, then, I'm going to go on ahead and make the Pokeball Factory stuff. Then we're going to go on and get that set up in the Pokemon Zone. So, let's come up here. One, two. I'm just going to make it a three block up. Then the pump. And then Redstone Engine. I'll make it this way. A lever right there. And then I just got to remove this, this, and this. And then I'm going to make a fluid pipe down off to the side over here. So I'm going to make the tank right about there. Alright. Right about here. So it's going to be nice and right here. Hmm. That's looking pretty good so far. So, let's head back to Ship Shape and collect whatever glass was made so far. Wow, the full stack is already done. These powered furnaces are no joke. Alright, so. Let's go on down here and make a load of tanks. I think five should be enough. And there we go. So five tanks. I'm not sure exactly how much each tank holds. I want to say 16 buckets, but I am unsure. So let's go ahead and get this all set up before I go for right now. Boom, 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 and boom. That way. And pop. There we go. Alright, so that should work. Change now. I'm going to go ahead and get this fired up before I leave for today. Plop that in, plop that in. And then this should fill with lava. Once it gets to, I think, a hundred thousand. That is the wrong thing. Alright. So what was the thing? No, it's a hundred and fifty thousand. Okay. Well, that, that's steadily approaching. I'm gonna... F3G. Oh, this is going to become an issue. Made it on the border of, like, three different chunks. Yeah, oh, boy. Alright, so I just need one of the, uh, 3x3 three three things done. Oh, it's already a third of the way done. And then this should pick it up and put it in here. And then I should be able to come through and bucket up all those... Because I don't think I actually have a lava bucket maker thing. Like a way to automatically bucket things. Got an alloyer. I don't think... Yeah, this is just for making alloys. So, yeah. And this could be good for making alloys more efficiently. And with less risk of there being... Well, other alloys made over here. But also, big forge over here would be very nice. So let's wait for this to do its thing. So I don't get an utter loss on this. Should be getting to 150. Oh, and I'm going to need to make a lever so this thing isn't just going to keep firing all the time. I, it actually gets a chance to charge and all that. Alright, so it should be triggering right about now. Now? Hello? Nope, there we go. And it was picked up by this. Immediately tossed over here. Alright. So it's a slow process, but it is a process nonetheless. So let's go and try to get a lever. Alright, so let's head back to ship shape. Make a really quick lever. Should be 
easy if I can get down the ladder. And grab a, one piece of cobble. Do this and mess up the crafting recipe somehow. <laughs> Alright, so... Where are... So we've got the single chunk loaders, but I don't have enough to craft the 3x3. Three three. So let's do chunk loader. Here we go. So I can make a basic one. Just need obsidian. Which means I just need lava. Unless I've got some obsidian laying around somewhere. No, I don't. Oh, there's a, there's a shiny Mega Gyarados over there. Okay. So let's come back down here to the cave. We're eventually going to run this cave out of lava. In which I'll be very happy because this was actually, if I'm not mistaken, our first lava source. Which was, again, shockingly, right underneath a cold beach. So, I need to take this. That's right, I need to take this up here. So that I can go on ahead and just break it. There we go. There we go. There we go. And lastly, there we go. So that's all four that we need. I think we've got everything else that we need already back at the base. So let's make this, and then I'll go on and exclude which ones we're not trying to load. And I should probably go on and remove the one from in the nether. Because, I mean, if we're going to be moving all that in here, why do we still need the one in the nether? Ender pearls, alright. So, chunk loader, boom, boom. head out to dome zone and it was that zone over there so I've got the lever and I've got the other things that we need so let's go ahead and plop this down all right lever right there so now if I flick that it will not produce any and you know what I'm gonna go ahead and Pill it up a few blocks. And then put it down right here. So that should be good and out of the way. So we want to load which ones? So north is that way. Which way is the Pokemon Center? Okay, so we want to load the one with the Pokemon Center. So we want to unload this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Means that we want to load these right here. If I'm not mistaken. G, alright. So that would be this one. This one. That one right here in the corner. Actually, this one right here in the corner doesn't have anything in it. So we can unload this one. Let's boom that we've got this block right here, this one right here, that zombie is extremely close, and this one right here, which should encompass everything here. Yep, I do believe so. Oh, and the lever apparently did nothing. Well, anyways, now we have our lava farm going, and I think that's where I'm going to call it for today. So thank you all so much for watching this episode of Minecraft. I hope you all have enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Goodbye, everybody!